this is one unique mission which is not being only looked upon or looked up to by India but by the entire world. America was the first to land on the surface of moon in the year 1969 when Neil Armstrong landed there, had a stroll around. But it was our Chandrayaan later on which went there and picked up the pictures of water. Chandrayaan 3 being looked up by the entire world also for the reason that this is a location chosen for its landing which has not been reached by any other mission. But every Indian will obviously feel proud about it and so do all of us. But I think more importantly from the scientific point of view, this is one unique mission which is not being only looked upon or looked up to by India but by the entire world. Because the record of the Chandrayaan series so far has been that the inputs, the pictures, the inferences provided by our Chandrayaan series are most of the times first of its kind, exclusive and they have been eye-opener. Like for example, and you, in spite of the fact that uh, some of these uh, nations have already reached the surface of moon. America was the first to land on the surface of moon in the year 1969 when Neil Armstrong landed there, had a stroll around. But it was our Chandrayaan later on which went there and picked up the pictures of water and uh, awakened the world to the possibility of uh, a human habitat being possible there directly or indirectly, which was, you know, it's something which has been uh, always conjuring up our imagination, which has been stirring our imagination generation after generation. I mean, singing nursery rhymes on this, imagining how would moon look, how would be the people living on moon. But this has been a part of the mystique, part of the uh, imaginary fiction. But here, Chandrayaan, for once, gave us a reason to find answers to these questions which even the rest of the world did not have such kind of... So, there is a lot much exclusiveness. And even this time, Chandrayaan 3 being looked up by the entire world also for the reason that this is a location chosen for its landing which has not been reached by any other mission, namely the South Pole area, which is said to have even craters of water, which is said to have more avenues of experimenting with hydrogen, oxygen, etc. So I think the entire world is going to be benefited from the inferences that we draw from there.